Hello everyone, it's Ellie Drake connecting with you from the beautiful state of Colorado. It's actually our third stop. It's another beautiful and windy day out. Uh, where are we exactly, Spencer? Uh, We're in the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. In the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. I'm looking forward to the next few days where we'll be having some events. I'm looking forward to doing what I do, which is to inspire and give. In fact, tomorrow morning we'll be having an interview with the Denver Post. I got to tell you, I wanted to share with you that today as we're driving through the mountains, I was thinking to myself, thank goodness it's not me who is driving. You know, I feel like it's my purpose to inspire and give, but if I did not drive one of these buses for the rest of my life, I would be totally fine with that. So I'm thankful to Michael and Terry for driving our two tour buses. And uh, you know, speaking of my purpose, it doesn't intimidate me that I have my picture like that on the side of the bus. Actually, who am I kidding? The other day I was coming out of the gas station and I didn't even, you know, I was in the moment and I wasn't thinking that these were my tour buses. And as I was coming close to one of the tour buses, I saw my picture and I went, hey! And then I said to myself, that's okay, take a breath and relax. You know, often we have those mental, uh, I call it the mental chatter in the back of our mind that says, what do you think you're doing? Oh my goodness, that's too intimidating, you know. And then that's when you have to listen to the voices of your heart, regardless of the noises of your head. That's when you say to yourself, take a breath, ground yourself, this is my purpose, it is what it is and what's next. Speaking of purpose, one of the questions I often get from people is, what is the meaning of purpose? What is my purpose? To begin with, I'd like to start explaining this by sharing with you that to me, leading a life of purpose is an ability or a willingness rather to let go of internal blocks, to let go of internal resistance. Because the more you grow internally, the more you realize that you are leading a purposeful life. Let's do an exercise. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes for just a few seconds and listen to the sound of my voice. Okay, go ahead and close your eyes. Very good. So now I'm going to ask you to imagine an image of yourself. Imagine an image of yourself. Doesn't matter whether you're sitting, you're standing. Imagine an image of yourself. Very good. Open your eyes. Were you looking in your eyes in that image? Most often, when we see that image, we are actually looking at the back of our head, we're looking behind us, we're not looking in our own eyes. That's a subconscious exercise that tells us that we want to change our lives, but in order to change our lives, we are subconsciously depending on the circumstances outside of us. That's why in that image you are looking outside of you. Now, you may not be able to change your life in just one decision, yet certainly you can change the direction of your life with one decision. And that decision is when you change and you start looking at yourself. So today I'm being the inner Ellie, and that's the Ellie. Let's just say that's the outer Ellie, and this is the higher self. You know, the higher self that you have to connect with in order for you to lead a purposeful life. Let me ask you a question. If I were to say to you that, let's say the purpose of your life is to grow for the rest of your life, to internally grow, I mean, let go of the resistances and the blocks that are within you, and that's all that you have to do for the rest of your life. What would you say? Most people answer in one of these two ways. First, they might say, that's all I have to do for the rest of my life, to continuously grow and develop myself, that's all? That's great, you mean I could just keep on being me and growing and maybe I could sit on the couch and do nothing and I'll be leading a purposeful life? Some may say, just to keep on growing and developing myself internally, that's not what I want to do, that's boring. I want to do more, I want to have more. In fact, most of the people who say this often say, I just want to have more. Now what I found out is that neither one of these answers really work. I found out that you have to commit to that internal growth, yet at the same time take action. Why not be at ease and 
at peace with where you are right now, commit to growing and developing yourself while taking productive action. That's the formula for me. That's the formula that I follow in order to live an inspired life and a purposeful life. And you know, I used to think that life was the dance and that I was the dancer or that life was the song and that I was the singer. But a very wise woman said, no, life is the dancer and you are the dance. Life is the singer and you are the song. And that has a profound impact on me on a daily basis because I connect to the fact that life is the dancer. Life is dancing through me anyway. My job is to cooperate. My job is to be the vessel of cooperation. My job is to release resistance because I have realized that which I resist, I only attract more of. Our Braveheart crew are standing around and they keep telling me, your hair is coming in your mouth, the wind, fix that and fix that. And I said to them, I'm teaching about purpose. It's not about external looks, you know, at least not right now. <laughs> okay, let's continue. So I realized that to lead a purposeful life, I have to allow myself to continuously grow internally. And just because I am committing to the purpose of my life, just because I'm allowing myself to give and to inspire does not mean that I am not going to have any doubt. Let's make sure that we understand that. Mental chatter and mental conflict will, maybe I could say, will always be there. What I have realized is that mental chatter is like having a highway in my mind and then the thoughts are the cars that drive on the highway. And my job is to be the police officer and to keep on telling the cars to drive, to drive. Just because I have lots of traffic on my highway doesn't mean I'm going to give myself a ticket every day. And so I realize that as long as I have my soul, as long as I have the emotions within me and the energy within me, the love within me, and that that is congruent with the divine purpose of my life, then I am bigger than the mental chatter. That to me means leading a purposeful life. I will live today as if it is the best day of my life, so when it is the last day of my life, it'll be the best day of my life. This has been Ellie Drake in the beautiful, windy Colorado. I look forward to connecting with you next time. Where's the wind? <laughs> No wind. <laughs> <laughs>